Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, my name is Nazla Fadla Ismail from class 9E of 26. Today, I want to tell the story of the folklore, which is a type of narrative text. The title of the folklore is Timun Mas or Golden Cucumber. Once upon a time in Chantal Java, there was a poor widow named the Basrini who lived alone in her small house. She fell sullenly that she prayed to God to bless her with a child. Then she had an odd dream. In her dream, she dreamed that she was walking toward a forest near her house, looking for something. Then she saw a white cloth lying on the ground. She bent down to try to open it, but suddenly she woke up from her dream. Curious, she decided to go into the forest right after she opened her eyes. She walked and looked around. To her surprise, her eyes lied on a piece of cloth that was identical to her dream. She slowly walked towards the cloth when she suddenly heard a monster laughter. Ha ha, open it, he ordered, afraid and confused at the same time. But Srini was hazen. Go ahead, what are you waiting for? said Buta Ijo, the green monster. Bosrini opened a piece of cloth and saw some seeds. But Ujo then said, Plant two seeds and a daughter you will have. You want a daughter, right? Yes, I really want to have a daughter. I will plant these seeds and take care of them, she replied. But with one condition, you must nurture the child until she is fully grown. Then you must give the child back to me, he said. Eager to have a child? Bosrini agreed to Buta Ujo's deal without considering the Buta Ujo's rule. She went home and planted her new seeds. Two months later, a baby was born. She named the baby girl Timun Mas, which in Japanese means the golden cucumber. As time passed by, Timun Mas grew to be a beautiful girl. Just a week before Timun Mas' 17th birthday, Buta Ijo appeared in front of Mbosrini house and reminded her about her premise. Mbosrini panicked and ran to the mountains to seek some help. There, she met a hermit. She told the hermit everything. Then, the old hermit gave her a bag. There were three things inside it that could be used to protect her from Buta Ijo. Basrini returned home and told Timun Mas about what the hermit said about Elise. The day finally came. The day when Buta Ijo arrived at Basrini's house to take Timun Mas as Basrini has promised. Basrini ordered Timun Mas to run into the forest. The guardian was furious. He destroyed Basrini's house before catching Timun Mas. In distress, Timun Mas opened her bag and took out a bunch of cucumber seeds and spread the seeds behind her. Suddenly, a large cucumber find a breed and strangled the guy in his body, but that wasn't enough to stop the guy and he was able to return himself out of it. She then spread the second object from her bag, which was salt, and earthquake happened. A massive wave of water rose from the ground. However, it still wasn't enough to defeat the giant. He swam through it. So desperately, the moon must throw the last thing and it happened to be a shrimp pest. It then transformed the ground into a sea of boiling volcanic mud. Buta Ijo was soaked into it. Finally, he drowned slowly and died. Timun Mas finally survived and returned to her mother, Basrini, and they lived happily ever after. That's all from me. Thank you.